Hello everyone and welcome back to Undertale. I'm your host Trade Orion, and well, we're in some place with a dog playing with a snowman. Aww, poor artist dog. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Aww, poor doggo. Ah uh, yes, that's right. Now I remember. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Wow, okay. I was kind of worried about hitting the switches and it resetting, but I guess it doesn't matter. something in my head. What do we have here? It's a snow puff. A snow puff. Woof. What a tiny dog house. Mm. I'm gonna go down over here. I don't want to miss anything. If I can help it anyway. It sands. <coughs> What's up? Oh. Um. Gift rot. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Leave me alone. Whoa! Settle down, that buddy. Oh, fuck. Hey, jeez. Um. Undecorate. That's a little better. You mo remove the stocking filled with the chicken with chicken nuggets. Oh fuck! Shouldn't have done that. Oh. Man, I'm getting fucked up. Um. Small confused dog. A weight has been lifted. Yay! All that for 20 bucks. Um. It's a door. It sure is. Interesting. I like the parallax in the background. I always saw that sort of thing added a really nice effect. Alright, I guess it's back to the snow puffs. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. And this is also cheese. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? I wonder if this is a um, reference to um, ball oh, the snow puff. A, refer a reference to the um, what is it? Borat special features? Eh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. Oh, oh, I love it. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. It's the greater dog. Oh man. Dare I check. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh fuck. Fuck. Alright. Oh god. 
I love this enemy. <laughs> Raider Dog is patting the ground with its front paws. I think it's probably a good idea to eat some ice cream. I love the music. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. That is my favorite character so far. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. I love Greater Dog. Greater Dog is friend. Oh, it's Papyrus and Sans. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Uh oh. <laughs> the dog on a string. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, bli blades will slice. Blice will slice. <laughs> Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of some victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for, pa for Papyrus! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I do. Oh, a flower. Welcome to Snowden Town. Ooh. I will definitely save it. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Hello, Traveller. How can I help you? Hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What's there to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history classes. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there, in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. 
But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? I guess so. What have you got? I kind of want to grab that for my defense. save the rest of my money. I don't know if I'm gonna need a whole bunch of money coming up soon. Um... With all the dogs, I feel like this stick is gonna come in handy for something. I'm gonna try and keep some items, but I feel like I'm gonna have to empty this out soon. Sooner or later. So I don't use it, I'm gonna put that in there too. Snowman piece. Alright, let's save it. Gotta have that determination. Oh my god, what is it? Mum says that sleeping can recover your maximum... No, your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 bucks. Fuck that. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Okay, another lad up there. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the end of snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Ah, uh, not yet. I'll talk to these bunny people. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hee <laughs> hee. I agree. Bun 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 bun. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. I don't know, it seems fine to me, dude. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's the tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Hey, we encountered that monster. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> I wish it was that simple. Um, let's go in these tunnels. Whoa, okay, let's not go in, in the tunnels. Grill bees. We'll go there in a minute. Let's talk to some people. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> Fair enough. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why morose about it? The library. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure. It's empty. Aw, poor Papyrus. We'll have to head there soon. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now! I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Um, I can't move. Okay, that was weird. It's a school report about monster funerals. Aw, monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. 
When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the minimum page yet? I'm kinda sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up this book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they were made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defense will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old home, our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we know, what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Okay, my control is feeling like going left a lot today. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monsters' souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Yeah, bloody people. Let's check out Grillbees. Hey, it's those dogs. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish these skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. We're sentries. Okay, they just say the same thing. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Isn't food... Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip it onto their butts. Oh, okay. Real nice. The jukebox is broken. That's not nice. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement, like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Aw, Doggo wants to go walkies. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I love it. Greater Dog is the best. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Okay, I guess you're the one that put the fishing rod in the water. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grillbees said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Time to check out Papyrus's house. It's locked. God damn it. <laughs> It's locked from the inside. I'm gonna go back here and go up before I go further right. It's cool to find a monster um, town though. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Are they slimes? Ah, what a beautiful knock. 
Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Hmm. I don't think they're gonna let us in. Nope. What's this guy doing? Ice cubes in the lake, I guess. Ring, ring. Hello? Can I speak to... G Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. It's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. <laughs> Click. Okay. That was... Very odd. <laughs> but whatever. Hey, that's the, um... Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Uh, let's check. He likes to say, Nyeh <laughs> He sure does. Papyrus is cackling. We are going to flirt with him. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all of my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date, later, after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you. Okay. What to cook for his date. You flirt, but to no avail. It seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later, after I capture you. So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled, fabled blue attack. That's not good. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Oh shit. Oh. The virus dabs MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ear. What the fuck is Bishy cream? Try holding the up button to jump. Helping me fucking dodge his own attacks. What? 
I'm not thinking about that date thing. behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh, crap. Whoa. Attraction slime behind his ear. Yuck. I can almost taste my future popularity. Fuck. I don't like it. Oh, you motherfucker. Beauty yogurt behind his ear. A pirate's head of the royal guard. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti spaghetto. Fuck. That's not good. Scream. Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh. Fuck. Jeez, I am not doing well. The virus is cackling. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. is considering his options. My brother, well, he won't change very much. Hmm. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Anyone like me as sincerely as you? Here, dude. You can make spaghetti. It's fucked. Someone like you is really rare. <laughs> Someone like you is really rare. Dating might be kind of hard. Oh shit. That was not cool. I'm running out of healing. After you're captured and sent away. Fuck. Ah, who cares? Give up! Give up or face my special attack! Shit. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Too long, and I will use that special attack. And I'm getting fucked up. This is your last chance before my special attack. Fuck. <laughs> Behold, my special attack. That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Oh, fuck. It's an absolutely normal attack. 
shit. health left, jeez. Well, it's clear. You can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. New hoo hoo I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quality will remain stagnant. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, I haven't even had, a, had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cabin. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. <laughs> I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Nyahahaha! I love Papyrus. He'd really talk your ear off, though. Because he's already talked his own off. But we're well over time, so I'm just gonna head back. We've gotta get like um healing items and stuff for next episode anyway. But I'll do that in between episodes. There we go. There we go. Alrighty guys, if you like what you saw, like, comment and subscribe, it helps us out a lot, and yeah. I've been your host, Shade Orion, and I'll see you in the next episode of Undertale. Thanks for watching, everyone.